Welcome back for another video. This is another F-150 video. So in the last video, we installed the new Corsa exhaust. You see down here, the little black tips, and they sound great. Guys, if you want to know what they sound like on an EcoBoost, because I think it'll surprise you, finish this video and then watch that one after. But they sound amazing, and I want you guys to be able to hear it if you have not, so check out that video. But today, we have some goodies to go underneath of the hood from Corsa as well. More power and another second mod we're gonna be doing in this video to keep the engine healthy and safe for the long run. We're actually filming the same day as when we just wrapped up the exhaust on the other side. So depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be in chronological order of video release, but this is so good looking. Corsa Performance. Guys, if you are interested in Corsa products for your F-150 or Mustang or Camaro or whatever the heck you drive that you love and live with every day, check out the video links down below to save some money. I've got discount codes for a ton of different companies down in the video description. But yes, we're loving the exhaust. It is so good sounding and it's easy to live with on your daily F-150. But let's go back to the garage and pop the hood, install some more power, and another little modification that's going to keep the engine a little bit safer for the long haul because this is our new daily aside from the Mustang that we're building to go fast with. So guys, let's go back to the garage, install some power. Let's go. If you keep up to date with the videos, and you know on our white Mustang, I've got it parked on the street, uh, that we have recently installed the Corsa carbon fiber intake that actually picked up you know a little bit of power and their catch can of course a catch can which is something very vital i think for any car especially if it's a daily driver because it separates the crankcase oils and gases and stuff like that especially on like a truck like this it's going to be very important because you're going to put miles on it so after time you're going to build up all that sludge and stuff like that and yes some people will argue that maybe you don't need them but i can tell you from experience those things do collect oil a lot of it so we're going to install a course of catch can in combination with their intake let's explore let's open this box and see what we have to install on our new F-150. Let's go. All right, let's open up the big box here. This is the main show, our intake system. Let's see what we got. So let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so we've got the plastic inlet tube here. We've got the fittings. We have the main box itself. Now, I'm hoping that this will also give us a little bit more turbo noise action. And look at, oh, look at that. This has got the clear lid. Oh my gosh, that is fancy. I like this, dude. So this is very kind of similar to the one that we have on the Mustang right now, where you can see kind of the engraving there. That looks really good. Gonna look delicious under the hood. So let's keep going. So we've got this to install. Should be very easy. And now let's jump over to our, this should be the catch can. Let's see. This is going to be probably instructions. Yes, it is. We've got a sticker because that the sticker is definitely add horsepower, you know. So, all right, cool. So we got a mounting bracket. We have just like on the Mustang, we have new fittings. These are like almost like OEM Ford fittings. So I'm not going to be hacking things up. This is really cool that they actually give you this stuff instead of like just like rigging the thing together like some other companies. This is kind of a more of a factory fit. And inside here should be the can itself. Turn to this one-handed and there we go. So awesome. Course of performance. Now just like in the other car, we're going to we're going to put liquid Teflon on all of the fittings here. The cool thing about the bottom is you can actually run, if you want to, like a different drain tube. You can make your own, but they give you the option there. Then you have all of your hose. They give you everything that you need. So everything looks good. If you are ready, I'm ready. Let's start installing some course of performance parts and add some power. So we're going to get rid of all the restriction and stuff like that. Now this is also a no tune required intake so it should give us a little bit more fuel economy hopefully. All right let's get to installing some parts. Let's go. All right so this is what we are going to be replacing this whole mess. Probably this is going to stay this section here and then you can see how restrictive everything's probably going to be. So 
a lot of sound deadening stuff built into this intake. This is going to be really easy of an install. And again, no tune required for this. So it's going to be EPA, more EPA compliant. Not that I really care, but anyway. All right, pro tip, because uh, this is really tough, so I want to get this on camera so you guys, if you install this kit, then you know what to look for. So, one of the things you have to do is move this wiring harness out of the way because it comes with a new bracket to attach. We'll get to that in a second. But anyway, the push clips are massive. Okay, there's one here, and then there's another one right there. Hard to explain, but there is a portion on this thing where you actually can push down. And then you'll have to pry out and they uh, basically compress to get to the back one. What you got to do is take your arm, come underneath back here and you'll be able to feel it and then squeeze. And it's going to take you some time. You'll be able to squeeze it together because that's kind of the way this works is it compresses like that. So you want to squeeze and pry. Anyway, pretty tough to get that done, but we've got it. So now we're going to install the bracket and continue moving forward, but not too bad so far, but just word of the wise, that's gonna take you a minute. This whole job's taking about 45 minutes, honestly, so it's not too bad. The wiring harness we had to unplug from the firewall and it snaps right here into this bracket that is on the side of the intake box. So the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the instructions and you really can't go wrong. Now we are just left with one final step and that is the lid that goes on top. Got our nice lid. It's gonna sit just like that. We're gonna screw it down and then we will be good to go here. Then we're gonna move on to the catch can and then we're gonna pick up this video on the road and see how this thing sounds, how it performs, so on and so forth. And hopefully we have some good luck with it. Another little cool touch that we just did was, I just noticed in the box, it comes with different vinyl strips. So the way that this works is if you want this to stand out more, kind of like you see here, this was the white one, you just slap it on the back. And then it gives kind of like a smoky kind of look to it. But that's pretty freaking cool. Because I give you red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Pick your poison. That looks freaking cool, dude. That looks freaking fire. So 10 mil, 10 mil. This whole thing's going to lift up your little foam engine cover. We need to get back behind there for our catch can. Take looks like maybe a 10 mil. We're going to loosen that. A uh, little bolt right there and then the brackets gonna live right there And then we're gonna start routing hoses and putting the catch can together and I mean this is gonna be like a 30 second thing So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and install it We'll show you after the fact how everything looks how everything is run and explained because you can get this backwards and you don't want to do that Anyway, they do have instructions So if you've never done something like this just follow your guideline here And I've just got everything liquid Teflon up and now we're just going to mount it into its factory location and then run our hoses really simple job Guys, go check out the links down below in the description if you are interested in any of these products for discount codes. All right, guys, so your factory PCV line is going to go from here to there. Lift up on the blue tabs, pull it away. Right side of the catch can, you can see that we have this line from the right side. It's going to come around and it's going to snap in place here. I'll just push. From the left side, we're going to curve it around and it's going to go to the back side. Make sure it snaps down. We're good to go there. And now we can put our engine cover back on. And that is the correct routing of this catch can system. Draining this thing, like maybe every oil change, pretty easy because we can get to it really easy. Uh, it's out in the open. So I like the location. The intake looks freaking good. So this is it. It is time for our little road test. Let's see if there's any difference. It's a closed air box, so that means the IETs are going to be in check. Typically, Corsa makes a couple different systems. They make the closed and they make an open filter design. I wanted the closed before IETs and like dirt roads and stuff like that, longevity of the filter, but they also do have oiled and dry filters, by the way. But let's go for our first drive with the intake now with the exhaust and now we have some engine protection with the catch can again i think those catch cans are 100 percent like a must-have buy for like any vehicle that you daily drive they do work it is not snake oil they absolutely do function all right so feels good so far all right this is the 3.5 liter eco boost and let's just put it into sport why not all right Feels 
good. So that feels good. Alright. We have traffic. Alright, car stopped in front of me. When he goes, we're gonna go. Let's floor it. Let's go. Okay. Alright, so that does feel good. Can I hear anything extra from the intake? Maybe, maybe just a teeny bit. Let's put it back in, I tell you what, here's the test. Let's put it back in the normal drive and let's see if the throttle is any more touchy because we probably got rid of a little bit of restriction from the stock intake. Let's just see. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit more noise. That sounds good. I mean, it's just a little bit, but it is there. So. Yeah, you can hear that little, a little bit more turbo whistle coming from the factory turbo with this intake. And this sounds good with the exhaust. The exhaust is so much deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's a really pleasant surprise. Again, we don't want to turn this thing into like a race truck. That's not the intent and purpose behind all this. It's just to make it a little bit faster, a little bit safer, and a little bit louder. And I think that we've accomplished quite a bit with the three mods that we have from Corsa. What is up with my camera? Come on, focus. There we go. You know, as the daily truck, I didn't want to sabotage the thing and make it just undrivable in any way. So these are three tasteful mods I think that most people would like to do on theirs. A little bit more sound, a little engine protection, and a little bit more power with the intake and uh, i think we've accomplished quite a lot with those three mods again links down below in the video description if you are interested in discount codes for any of these products go check out oh this feels good okay we're off feels good it's gonna be the video we're gonna end it here so more things inbound for this truck we're gonna have fun with it if you are into f-150 content maybe subscribe consider it it is free after all not much in this world is free at the end of the day but subscribing is so i'd really appreciate it and drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video if you found it helpful informative fun whatever but i digress guys that's going to be the video huge shout out to course of performance now we have course on the mustang course on the truck all around good stuff great company oem fitment love them to death and what is going on here is it an accident uh that might be yeah that somebody's okay so somebody hit somebody literally an accident right in front of me okay we're gonna end it god bless all of you guys i'll see you next video goodbye are you guys okay all right Need me to call anybody? Okay, all right. <laughs> With the windows down? Ooh, all right, let's do that again. I didn't even, oh, that sounds good with the windows down. I'm in the neighborhood and we're not gonna go crazy, but you can definitely hear. <laughs> Induction noises, exhaust. <laughs>